Greetings commanders, Commander Spike D. Wolfwood here, here with another video on all of my ships. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at my uh, Viper Mark III. So yeah, uh, this is a pretty cool paint job, uh, I must say. I actually quite like this paint job, uh, got a nice metallic look to it. But uh, this thing is just a pretty standard combat uh, build. Um, I didn't really have a, much of a theme with this one, mainly because uh, I just had a bunch of spare weapons laying around and I figured this ship would be just a good thing to put them on, so let's go for the hard points. Um, again, I'm using multi-cannons and rails, rail guns on this. I know they're not great for when it comes to ammo, because you can run out over time, but it's again something that I don't really use that much for combat. I prefer using the uh, Cobra if I'm going to use a small ship or the Imperial Eagle. So there we go. Uh, so we've gone with sturdy mounts with Super Penetrator on both rail guns. As you can see there. And like uh, my Eagle, I'm guessing, yep. Uh, oh, uh, that's right. Because of this weak, uh, the weak ass power uh, plant on this thing, I've had to go with efficient weaponry with incendiary rounds and I think yep efficient weaponry and corrosive so yeah I think I had the spare rails and I think uh, um, from when I basically I unlocked the imperial uh, rail guns uh, so um, I had these uh, two spares I think I just shoved them on here whereas uh, these I uh, engineered specifically for this build because of the uh, power plant utilities another shaft launcher with a heat sink on there with, uh, I think it was, yeah, just e extra ammo capacity. Core is, uh, okay, so this is, uh, I've went with a, a um, a, uh, blah, 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 what do you call it, um, a resistance build. So that's why I've gone with reactive and it should have the thermal, uh, resistance, uh, armor with layered plating. And that pretty much rounds up my resistances quite, uh, evenly across the board there. Uh, power plant again it's overcharged with monster and it, uh, as you can see with the uh, pa with, with the wattage I'm drawing uh, I'm almost at, at, at the limit there so uh, yeah this thing has not the best power plant in the world uh, but again it does the job uh, I don't think it helps I've got the enhanced uh, performance thrusters these things draw a fair amount of power but uh, at the same time are a lot faster so Standard uh, dirty drag drives on this. Frame shift drive, uh, increased range and mass manager, so just to be able to get it around the, around to what I need it to be. Lightweight uh, for the live support and the sensors, as you can see here. And then with any uh, combat build, I always go with the charging and uh, power distrib uh, distributor and uh, the super conduits. And no, just one there. Okay, so the optionals, uh, prismatic shield generator, again, this draws a lot of power as well. Uh, oh yes, uh, so that's why I've uh, went with thermal resistance to round up the resistances and went with low draw on it because it was drawing way too much power. Uh, then the hull reinforcements, these are heavy duty deep plating, as you can see here, and then two shield cell banks with uh, rapid recharge recycle cells. And then just to uh, fill up the uh, modules is a uh, one uh, module reinforcement package and one frame just drive interdictor. So this thing is basically just a bit uh, being built for a bit of fun. There's no real theme with this one. It's just a a, a combat builder that I've uh, did with a few spare parts. About I think I had a f um, I think my uh, enhanced performance thrusters I had spare. I think I had them on some other chip and decided to swap them out, but. That's pretty much it for this uh, ship, so let's launch it and see how it does in combat because I've not actually flown this thing before. Oh, uh, as for the name, I've called it the Boominator Mark III and uh, the um, Viper Mark IV is also called the Boominator, but it's the Boomina Boominator Mark IV. You have been Even though my... Viper Mark IV isn't actually a combat build, which we'll get into then into the next video. Uh, I think. Oh, almost there. Almost hit the sides there. Okay, uh, where are we going? We are going there. I think 
mess up my modules. No, I need to set them up before I uh, get into combat. Okay, uh, discovery, heat sink, heat sink, shield cell banks, uh, shaft. Oh, wait, no, that's right. God, that was a that's, that was close. <laughs> Almost hit, went into the planet there. Okay, where is that site? There we go. Let's loop back around. There we go. There it is. Okay then, let's see how this thing does. There's our first target. Let's see if he's wanted or not. Imperial Eagle. Yep, he's wanted. I must say the Maui cannons at the front here really do look good. And there's my table aiming showing uh, true as before in my previous video. I must say this thing is actually uh, ripping to shreds quite quickly even though that was a small ship. Here. A great phantom, is this going to be any better? Alright, let's take it on, see. Let's see how well this does. Can't actually get it by me, I'm too maneuverable. And he is gone. Okay, so this ship actually proved a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah, this ship actually might be a bit of fun if you just want to do some quick uh, sni sniping of um, other NPC ships. It'd probably be a lot more fun in a wing. Now, let's see. Can I take on a large ship? That's the question. He's in the wing of three. Do I do it? I'm gonna do it. ain't looking good. No, nope, my shoulders down. I'm going to have to bail on this one. Yeah, okay. So, I couldn't take on the bit larger ship, but I was able to take on uh, the Imperial Eagle and the uh, Crate Phantom there. So all in all, I say this is a successful build. Probably would be a lot better in a wing, but as I'm not in a wing at the moment, uh, I can't really showcase that. But uh, that's the end of this video, and I'll see you in the next video, which will be we'll be looking at the uh, Viper Mark IV, which is an entirely different type of build than any other build that I've done. So look forward to that. Later, commanders. <laughs>